Hi, I'm Laura with the Canadian Museum of Nature. The newest dinosaur acquired by our museum is nicknamed Judith. It was discovered in the Judith River Formation in Montana in the United States by an amateur fossil hunter. What's particularly exciting about it is that it's a new species. And here to tell us more about it is our dinosaur researcher, Jordan Mallon. So Jordan, you've just published a scientific paper and named this dinosaur a unique name. Yeah, my co-authors and I called it uh, Spiclipius shiporum. And there's two point parts to that name. The first part, Spiclipius, uh, is Latin for spike shield. And if it, it's in reference to all these, these spikes you see coming off the back of, of the frill. And the second part of the name, Shiporum, uh, honors Bill Ship and his family on whose land the fossil was found. The reason why we think Judith represents a new species has a lot to do with the orientation of the, the horns and spikes on the skull here. So if you look at the, these horns over the eyes, you see that they stick out sideways, whereas in most horned dinosaurs, they'll, they'll stick out forwards. And then if you look at the back of the frill here, we've got this very unique arrangement to the, to the spikes on back. So near the midline, we have four spikes that curl forwards. And then as you go out towards the sides, these spikes stick out laterally. They stick out sideways away from the midline. The other neat thing about Judith uh, is the evidence that we have for arthritis and bone infection in the humerus or the upper arm bone. If you look uh, towards this end here, this is the the elbow joint and you can see that it's developed these great big holes down below here um, and this would have served to drain off the infection from the bone. Um, basically this this forelimb, this left forelimb of Judith would have been effectively useless for walking. We also know from looking at the the growth rings inside of Judith's bones that the animal would have lived somewhere between say seven and ten years old um, so it would have been suffering from this bone disease into a, into a ripe old age. The Canadian Museum of Nature is home to one of the best horned dinosaur collections in the world, and Judith makes a fine addition. Thanks for joining us for this Nature Scoop.